Morning guys, um, I'm just sharing this feed with a group or two. So just as I, as I uh, get organized, please let me know that you can hear, because I have had problems um, hearing, people hearing the last transmission I did. So can you just let me know that you can hear this before we get going? So welcome everybody, welcome. Awesome, Carolina, thank you for posting. So just gathering uh, people up, please feel free to tag and share people. And if you're listening in to uh, the YouTube after this event, Please uh, share and um, comment. That will help the uh, pushing the, the feed up. Just give me a second. So welcome. How's everybody going? It's been a mammoth um, of solar flares flowing in since um, the 5.5, around the 5.5. So just gathering people. Hey Doris, and my, lovely to have you sharing company this morning from Canada. So we just uh, wait a moment or two. Thank you for your patience. Yes, it's a powerful frequency right now. The powerful frequency, yeah. So give me one more sec and I'm nearly with you. Can you hear, uh, uh, he the sound's okay, yeah? Just double checking. So, so really, um, it's been a very intense time, hasn't it, in the last fortnight? Um, and I just really wanted to hop on this morning to bring through some channeled information from spirit, um, some light language to support your being at this time. So if you haven't already noticed, um, our community is a buzz, a light buzz with the uh, information that there's a lot of geomagnetic storms coming in this weekend. So, um, and really I feel that all the solar flare, flare and CME activity that's been occurring uh, just a few days prior to the 5-5 last weekend has really been, been amplifying and bombarding our energy bodies, our light bodies uh, at this time. And I've just really been asked to work in group settings lately uh, at, at supporting and activating the light body. And I feel like all of this solar uh, influx that is coming in is for activation of the light body. So the light body being the energy body that sits within the physical vessel, which holds, um, I feel, soul memory, which holds... Um, a connection to the higher realms and which holds sacred geometries that are now um, been activated and uh, 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 coalesced and aligned for our future endeavors. So all of these energies that are coming in through the solar activations, through the geostorms, are really here to amplify our energy field. So this amplification of our energy field is really important to hold the higher vibration. And so this amplification of the energy field is um, coming in through our channels, through our cosmic light channels, yeah, from the higher chakras, through the pillar, anchoring it into the earth as we keep doing, as we keep doing in divine service. And this energy is sort of 
activating the cells at, at, at a DNA level is awakening um, more of our, our soul memory. Uh, and this is the this is the, the contact. Yes, this is contact with our galactic selves. This is contact with our soul extensions that are um, from other timelines of the earth, but also from galactic timelines that are really are wanting to come in and support this new evolutionary consciousness that is unfolding on the earth. Yeah, So there's a lot of talk within our community, of course, of um, uh, the ship's landing, when is it going to happen, contact, contact, contact. And um, I have no um, opinion whether or not and, and timing. However, I do feel that we are those galactic um, uh, embodiment pieces, yes, we are embodying this galactic frequency through our own channels, through our own resonance, and this is deep work, this is soul work, this is advanced work to to really sit with ourselves in this uncomfortableness of releasing deep energies that no longer serve. So it, this is going in way deep into the cells. And this is to free and liberate the cell consciousness and the DNA of many patterns of many lifetimes of karma, of ancestral um, energies, to really allow us to step into new ways of being, new uh, ac activate new energy within our mind consciousness. And as we clear the cells of the body, as we cleared by the solar light, then we are risen. We rise like the rocket man, yes? And we rise up, we, we connect with the higher realms, and we gain wisdom. We open the spiritual Wi-Fi of the pineal, and the energies behind the pineal, and then we are given um, uh, grace, divine grace, to to have the clarity to move forward in new directions. So this has not come in, come in yet. We're in the process of manifesting that within the physical form, which then will allow the new to to be birthed into physical creation yeah so it's a very creative time it's also very exhausting it's also very um wiring up of our nervous systems so it's important at this time to remember your very simple self-care practices yes so whether that's epsom salt baths walking by the ocean connecting in nature uh good body work with a, a, a connected practitioner yeah all of this stuff uh, is really important to help you anchor into your vessel so that you don't go spiraling off and out especially with the co collective chaos that's unfolding yeah so it's really important to stay in your pillar stay anchored stay grounded and use your breath to to do that and be in your hearts as as many people talk about off, on and on and that is so true to be in your hearts at this time so i did pick a few cards for this weekend um just in general just in general sort of asking let's what can you say spirit around asking for a little bit of support a little bit of guidance around the incoming intensity and where to place ourselves in the next coming days uh, this weekend okay so I'm working with um, another Alana Fairchild pack she's just such a beautiful human being um, medicine heart oracle yeah medicine heart oracle Alana Fairchild yeah a homegrown Aussie yeah a homegrown Aussie and um, the first card the first card that was picked was Collective of the Southwest. Collective of the Southwest. Yeah? Okay. So, your dreams are your own, yet they are part of a greater collective human dreaming. Your dreaming journey is your own, yet it is part of a greater collective human healing. Your individual spiritual sovereignty is distilled through intentional navigation of the collective energy fields of humanity's thoughts and feelings. You can support it to hold spir uh, spiritually uh, uh, to hold you spiritually cap 
it, sorry, rather than allowing it to hold you spiritually captive to the, le the lesser way of fear, break free from any collective madness by seeking the sanity of sacredness within. Uh, through affirming your spiritual independence, you will be um, more readily, you will more readily create uh, your contribution to uplift the collective into the wisdom of the heart. So once again, um, Spirit's guiding us to, to recognize that um, the collective field is in, in, in turmoil, is in sort of... Uh, uh, like a, a rapid, it's, I feel it like a, a, a snake with its head cut off, yeah? So it's sort of twisting and turning very quickly. And as empaths, as starseeds, as lightworkers, we are often very attuned to that collective field. But at the same, and, and that's useful to be aware of what the themes are, the themes that are coming up. And as this geomagnetic force comes in, uh, this weekend, it's going to amplify that sort of agitation even more in people. So we could see some sort of outplays of activity. Yeah. However, again, we are being guided to come back to our stillness, come back to peace within us, and come back to our channel and connect with nature to really stabilize in peace and stillness within, so that we may be those um, uh, golden pillars of light to support the uh, process of um, grounding this high energy into the planet. And if you're feeling a little bit destabilized, really coming back to your breath, your body, and your ground. Yeah. So that was the first card. Yeah, that was the first card. So let us work a little now with um, a crystal and some light language to support that process. And then we'll continue with the second card. Yeah. So I posted this big guy earlier today, uh, Thor's hammer, yeah, Thor's hammer. So, <sighs> pyrite, so golden pillar, golden pillar, yeah. Quite a heavy, heavy piece. Um, so very uh, grounding, very affirming, and very anchoring. So I just want to bring through some light to anchor in this, this golden pillar um, to support us feeling connected to the earth as we um, continue our journey. Yeah. So this is one you may want to revisit over the weekend if you're feeling a little bit knocked or ungrounded. You can listen to this individual piece of light language and it will help you bring you back into alignment, back into your center and back into your strength, your courage and, and break through. This is a breakthrough moment. So this hammer is like smashing away, breaking through those limiting patterns of mind, of heart, of soul, so that we may come back into uh, our pillar of of strength of Archangel Michael's blue light that we are within, that we are getting so much guidance and held with so much love at this time. So once again, allowing this energy to come through you uh, and help you fortify your pillar at this time. <clears throat> Jabo do do de banana, shabo do do de banana, shalabaka do 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 do, shalabaka de ke bono no no ke banana na na ka, shalaboki ana, shalaboki banana na shalabaka tu, shabaka ta tu, shabaka to to banana na ka shalaka, shalabaka to 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 banana ka, shalaka fu tu tu, shalapa tu tu, shalapa tu tu te ke banaka, shalapa ko tu tu te ke banana ka, shalapo tu 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 te naka. Shalapaka tu 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 tu. So just allowing that energy to to move through you, to hold you, to anchor you, anchor your pillar, anchor your peace. Yeah. Yeah. So take a breath. So I'd like to read the second card that I've picked for today. Um, this card, uh, uh, forgive my pronunciation, Ningalaya Ponya, yeah? So this is the card, yeah? Beautiful. From Alana's uh, Medicine Heart Oracles, yeah? So 
with hope in your heart, you will activate the helpful spiritual intelligence needed for creative healing resolution. No matter how great the odds seem, difficulty will be transformed into opportunity with soulful manifestation. New possibilities will arise from uh, what that which is outmoded uh, through through you will spontaneously manifest fierce compassion if required an underlying gentle approach will conserve your energy and uh, and attract all necessary resources you are destined to evolve beyond a problematic situation into more abundance restful and supported reality so this is a uh, spot on spot on i feel yeah so um so really this talks to the fact that this energy is very intense and it it, it sort of creates an agitation sometimes in the heart sometimes in the nervous system which then invites our mind to kind of um prematurely look for solution because it, it it's sort of uncomfortable and it, it's kind of a little bit um, like the energy's there for change, but the change has not arisen within the, in the mind stream yet. So at this point, it's not so much about rushing off in, into creation and action from an ungrounded or kind of agitated space. It's about coming back to this rested place as much as we can to allow the slowing down of our system to allow the integration of this energy that will then inherently anchor in seeds of new light, new growth, new consciousness, which will allow the, uh, the abundance or the new creation to, to be birthed within us uh, effortlessly and the manifestation to come forth effortlessly without the push of the of that sort of um, that soul of speed, that's, that that uh, geo storm energy that is kind of going a little bit sort of like haywire. Yeah. So take a breath into the belly, <sighs> recognizing there's nothing to do. This weekend is about allowing, nothing to do, allowing. Don't, not getting too caught in the collective upheaval, but allowing your energy to rest and find stillness and allow it to move you. Allow it to move you in ways and open you up. Yeah? So again, I'll work with another crystal with a piece of light language. So this is uh, a beautiful um, rose quartz heart rose quartz heart so this is a heart chakra activation and this is about just finding that stillness in the heart during this turmoil or inner amplification that has been invited into us this weekend through the uh, geostorm solar activity and amplification feel of the energy fields of the earth yeah <clears throat> so once again feeling uh, the energy come through and allowing yourself to listen to it just as you as you do as you be jabato to ke bor ka bor ka bor ka nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor ka bor ka bor ka nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ka ka jala bor nar ka bor ka nar ka jala bor nar ka bor ka nar ka jala bor nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor nar ka bor ka bor ka bor ki jala bor nar ka Feeling the energy of many angelic beings dropping into our space, providing us with support, holding the edges of our auric field, allowing a stillness to occur within our being, allowing a uh, widening of our channel. As we feel supported, we can relax out of the tightness or the holding or the anticipation of what is to come, and we can simply be the light, the light and the life, the golden frequency of Christ 
if you will, or the fifth dimensional heart. Mm. So take a breath. Mm. Uh, always remembering to hydrate this weekend, to, to really take in a little bit more water, and sometimes putting a bit of juice or cordial in it can help you yourselves absorb it uh, more readily. So the final card for today. Azura of the Northwest. Azure of the Northwest. Yeah? Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful image, yeah. Yeah. Sacred friendship can arise through human relationship and and the living bond that you experience with nature and her creatures as well as the subtle realms of the spiritual dimension. The gift of friendship is an invitation into freedom, authenticity, flexibility and equality. A friendship that is healthy, positive and holds meaning for the heart provides nourishment for the soul, affirmation for your personal personhood and uh, encouragement for your authentic life journey. You can choose to be such a friend to yourself and to others, increasing happiness in your heart and our world. Yeah. So, so, so beautiful. Um, so that talks to, to, I feel, of the need for like-minded people in our lives right now to support our hearts, to support our um, being, but also that we have on our side uh, the angelics that I just mentioned, the galactics, the elementals of the earth are all supporting us if we ask them to. So we can be that friend, good friend to others around us if they're in need, but also filling our own cup, of course, and to, to be with spirit as a support system as well, and not to kind of cut off friends or spirit or the subtle energies when we're feeling a little bit um, triggered, activated, or uh, 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 knocked out of alignment. So it's about coming back. It's not that we won't go to those places. Of course we will. We're only human. But it's about the flexibility, developing the tensile flexibility within us to come back into alignment and to reach out to whatever support system or navigating systems that is useful to us to anchor. Yeah? That's not to say we give away our power or sovereignty. This is just a matter of knowing that we are in a collective field. So as such, it, it is, it, we are a herd animal. And as well as uh, being of sovereignty, it's also useful to reach out and connect and support each other during the process. And also we feel less alone in the changes and we can kind of... Um, validate each other's reality and experience which also allows our nervous systems to settle yeah yeah so <clears throat> the last piece i'll work with today um before i complete this transmission is um this very cute uh purple strawberry quartz Bu laughing buddha yeah so he's coming in as that good friend right now. He's coming in with compassion, with wisdom, with heart, with heart energy and laughter, you know, laughter and joy to bring in that frequency for the, the, the heart, the high heart, to allow us to keep, to keep, uh, keep our spirits up, to keep our energy lifted even when uh, the, the collective field is maybe not so, okay? So allow this energy to wash over you like a warm breeze on a summer's day. Yeah. <clears throat> Yanaka, 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 
嫌なのか嫌なのか嫌なのか嫌なのか。Noticing how that that light filled language shifts the energy field, shifts your energy field. So you can come back to these light transmissions over the weekend. Please feel free to to revisit this transmission or share it with your friends if it feels relevant, or in groups, etc.、Um, and also remembering the crystals of the earth. The crystals of the earth are here, willingly and inviting us to to work with them to support grounding, to support anchoring in the energies, and they hold the frequency of the earth. But they also can. Um, be activated by our energy field as we go through big changes, yeah. And they will support holding that activation of our energy field, and they will also、um, uh, be a gift, yeah. Be a gift that we can work with to、um, uh, to give to others, to hold so that they can share in this beautiful frequency that is available to all. Uh, as we anchor in through、uh, our conduits, so I hope you have a beautiful Saturday and a lovely Sunday, and I will connect with you next week. I'm sure.、Um, so take the best care, look after yourself, hydrate, ground, all that good stuff, and、uh, wishing you so much love at these exciting and transformational times we're in. Bye for now, guys.